York City. Some energy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do some improv, some make them ups for you. We just need a suggestion to get us started. Bow tie. Bow tie. Yeah. Woo! Uh, bow tie. Uh, I didn't go to my own senior prom, but I did go to a senior prom uh, a year later uh, when I was a freshman in college. Uh, my no. <laughs> Bear with me for a second. Uh, um, my my aunt worked at a high school. <laughs> my aunt worked at a high school, and uh, before the prom, two uh, young high school girls came to her and said, "Our dates just dumped us for the prom. They want to go to a fish concert instead." Uh, and my aunt goes, uh, "I've got." You know, some nephews, they're all about the same age as you. I'll set you up with them, and they'll be your dates for the prom. So she calls me, and of course my thinking is, having not gone to mine, I might as well go to one. Uh, so we go. I go with one of the girls. I don't go with both, technically, although that would be kind of cool. Um, I don't, I, not, that I was, not that I was like that smooth at that point in my life that I'd be able to work it somehow, but uh, it was a thought that entered my head. Anyway, later, uh, after the prom, we get onto a uh, casino boat that's going around the island of Manhattan. Um, <laughs> and and I had never worn a tux before, so I had one of the uh, sort of clip-on bow ties. Um, and so I excuse myself uh, during the party to go to the bathroom, and as I'm standing over the urinal, the uh, the clip comes loose, and it falls right into oh. the urinal, and I just, I'm just like, they're like, well, I uh, guess I have to pick it up, it's a rental. Oh. <laughs> and and I, I just wash it off, and put it in my pocket, because I'm not putting that back on, and I come back, my date's like, where'd your bow tie go? And I'm like, don't tell her it's in the urinal. I go, oh, it was too tight. It was too tight, so I'm loosening up. That's, yeah, that's my story. Um, and that's bow tie for you. <laughs> what was your name again? <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Roger, you are so dreamy. <laughs> Cassandra. 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 Yeah. Yes, this, this is a magical night. If I had if I hadn't met you over there by the ranger station, I don't know what would have happened. <laughs> oh. um, you're kind of a, you know, jumping up and down and, and screaming at some strobe and light, and I went to check it out. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, you probably would have, uh, you know, just got tired and went home. I bet if I didn't have to long. Well, you're the first guy to come along. Was it Roger? <laughs> God, I wish I thought it was a different name. Roger? <laughs> yeah, that is, that's my real name. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that you picked me up for so many reasons. Because um, I have these friends, see? And they just kind of left me here. I know I told you all this already like three times, right? But like, you're like the cutest guy, right? Yeah, I guess I am. Oh, <laughs> my I'm not going to argue that point at all. My friends were like, they threw me out of the car and they're like, find your own way home. And I'm like, I have the strobe light. And I was like, I figured I'd just flash it at everybody. And like, so, and you, Roger, you're like, so nice. God, I imagine this scenario so many times in my head and, and really hoping and wishing it would happen. And now that it is, why am I so fucking weirded out? I don't know. <laughs> just last week at my 18th birthday party, I. I came across the same thing. I'm like, what do I do? I just turned 18, so I bought some lotto tickets. You ever buy lotto tickets? They never get anywhere. Oh my god, you're cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh no, Roger. Uh, <laughs> so, um, where do you live? Oh, you know, by the deep end of the river. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> I just thought maybe it was time to call it a night. Oh. Yeah, because you're safe now. But there's still wolves out there. And it's... I don't have to be home for another three hours. And it's really hot. <laughs> yeah, where does it go? <laughs> you found the ghost slut of Moon River. <laughs> Welcome to Aunt Kathy's house. I've got 
handsome young men about your age. Yeah, that's what I want. I want them. <laughs> well, you're an eager young boy. <laughs> calm down there, eager young boy. <laughs> Tell me to calm down. I came all the way from Ohio. That's the bread basket of the United States of America. Just to feel something that I haven't before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I may be naive, but I'm not a sucker. <laughs> What's your name, boy? My name is Jonathan. Jonathan Long. <laughs> Jonathan Long. There's so many Jonathan Longs that have signed into Aunt Kathy's House of Young Men over the years. <laughs> <laughs> That's not your real name, is it? It's Rick Richter Long. <laughs> it's Rick Long. You should have just gone with Jonathan. You're so sweet. I don't know if I can let you in here. Well, <laughs> if I have to prove myself, I will. I'm not afraid. Do you know what you're getting into here? Do you know what it means to walk through these red velvet doors? <laughs> it means shame to my family. It means I can never go home again. <laughs> I was going to say that in a monologue, but you just answered it. <laughs> well, Richter. Seems you know what you're in for. I suppose there's no holding you back then, but if you really do know all that, then why go in? <laughs> I don't understand. This is your place. This is your house. Why wouldn't you want me to experience it? I'm very discerning about my cousin. <laughs> I don't want you going down a bad path. You look like such a young, nice man. <laughs> then again, I do have money to make. This is a... Uh, no, this is... You're perfect. <laughs> 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 <laughs>